what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 4 here bring you guys more nfl playoff predictions today we're going to be talking about the game between the dallas cowboys and the green bay packers now before we get into anything else guys i just want to say this this is going to be the most intense game ever i mean lambeau field cold ass weather intense crowds both sides have large ass crowds behind them this it is going to be intense and also it is going to be a classic Hopefully it turns into freaking Ice Bowl number three, I believe. I mean, the, the last time it turned into Ice Bowl was versus the New York Giants. When it was like at least under 10 degrees. Fucking insane, man. I remember when my Giants went to the Super Bowl. Shit, they had to go to Lambeau Field against Brett Favre. It was insane, man. I loved that game. It was just awesome how it ended. So anyways, my prediction of this game and also my pick... My pick to win this game is the Green Bay Packers. I want them to win. I want them to beat the living shit out of the Dallas Cowboys. I don't want the Cowboys to win at all. I'm a Cowboy hater. I don't give a shit. I hate the Dallas Cowboys. Hopefully they lose. I want to see their fans cry. My final prediction of this game, the final score is going to be 30 to 28. It is going to be a high scoring game. Let me tell you guys why. Both defenses are in trouble. I mean, look what the Dallas Cowboys have to come up against. On offense of the Green Bay Packers, we got Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, Eddie Lacy, Aaron Rodgers. The Dallas Cowboys side, we got Jason Witten, Des Bryant, DeMarco Murray, and Tony Romo. Four players on each side that are dangerous. The defense are up for a fucking game. Alright, it's, it's a fucking chess game right now. Who's going to learn who? Who's going to freaking adjust to who? And let's see who makes the first fucking mistake. The first one who makes a mistake, it's done. It's a done skis. Because ev I know every single drive, we're going to be able to see a touchdown. Seeing how these both offenses react, I mean, it's just going to be insane. So uh, let me tell you guys the problems on both sides of the defense since we're going to be seeing a high-scoring game. On the defensive side on the Dallas Cowboys, we know, we all know their defense is a sleeping defense. What does that mean? They don't play the first three fucking quarters. We all saw what happened in Detroit. They don't fucking play. They don't. They just don't. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was in the first half. They weren't there. That's why they got scored on so many points in the beginning. Um, when it comes down to the fourth quarter, yes, they're clutch. They're rookie defensive end. He's clutch. Um, some of the players in the, as a defensive back, you know, they're clutch. They know how to swat down balls at least. Uh, which I'm amazed because, you know, I thought they had a weak-ass secondary. But, um... Since they're going to be sleeping in the first three quarters, freaking Jordy Nelson and Aaron Rodgers are going to be on them all day. Fucking bombs all day. Ten yards all day. First downs all day. They're just not going to be able to stop him. Especially with Eddie Lacy, man. Eddie Lacy's going to run down the middle. Fucking crush down those DTs. So, the first three quarters expect a lot of touchdowns from the Green Bay Packers. They're just going to keep on scoring. They're just going to keep on coming. And coming. Another touchdown. Touchdown Jordy Nelson. Five yards. Touchdown 10 yards by Eddie Lacy. Touchdown with all these guys. Because they're sleeping on that offense. It's not until the fourth quarter they wake up. So that's the problem with the Dallas Cowboys defense. Now let's move on to the Green Bay Packers defense. Now seeing how Tony Romo is under the pressure. Under the freaking pocket. Once he's blitz. He's done. That O-line is fucking weak. And against the Blitz. We all saw what happened to Detroit. But they finally adjusted in the second half. So something's up with that O-line. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know what the fuck they ate. Or maybe they've missed their Fruity Pebbles or something. But that O-line is just fucking sleeping sometimes in the first half. Uh, in the playoff games. I don't know. Maybe they're nervous. Or maybe they're too young to experience the playoff games. I don't know. But that O-line might not be ready. Also, by the way. That's another weakness of, weakness of the Dallas Cowboys. So moving on to the defensive Packers, you know, the, the, the Packers on defense. If they're not going to pass rush Tony Romo, they're in danger. Seeing how Tony Romo got pass rushed so badly on the Detroit Lions, if we see that again with the Green Bay Packers, um, they might have a good game. But seeing how the Green Bay Packers usually don't send blitz packages, they just sit back and wait for the pass, then they're in, in for trouble. The Marker Murray is just going to run out there, man. With no pressure or nothing, Tony Romo can just sit in the pocket all day, especially with that elite O-line. With no passwords, no blitz packages, that offense is just going to go. It's just going to go, man. That's all I'm going to say. They're just going to go. 
So the best thing to for the Green Bay Packers to do is if they send blitz packages or maybe it's send in some kind of pressure or something. They don't have the right D line to do it, but they gotta send someone, man. Do you do not sleep on Romo? You don't. Alright. So those are the flaws, guys, guys, on both sides on defenses. If one doesn't do the other, we are just gonna see an offensive drives all day. Offensive touchdowns all day, man. So it's it's up to one of them to actually adjust and learn from the previous game that you know each other's weaknesses and stuff. And they're one one of them is gonna have to win, man. I know one is gonna win, but still, like it is gonna be fucking intense because you never know who's gonna score last, since everybody's scoring a touchdown on every single drive. <laughs> Defense on the Dallas Cowboys side, they're asleep, and on the Packers side, if they don't pass rush, they're done. So guys, I don't know. This is gonna be intense. And uh, I'm gonna watch this game for sure. I'm ordering some pizza and calling some friends. And um, you know, what are you guys gonna do? I mean, what is what is your predictions, guys? What is gonna be the final score? Tell me in the comment section. I would like to know for sure. It's gonna be interesting to see. And um, and also, but the, by the way, the background gameplay is the Gauntlet Mode on Madden 15. It's pretty awesome. You guys might want to check it out. And um, yeah. And also, if you guys are Call of Duty Advanced Warfare fans, make sure you stop by. I also have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare going on around here in my channel. So. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's my prediction. That's my flaws on both sides on the Green Bay Packers and Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. So subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to see more Madden 15 and also more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.